Hello everyone. So a key feature of any multiplayer FPS game is communication. So in this video, we're going to be adding a game chat to our game. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it. All right. So the very first thing we're going to do is make the UI for our game chat. So let's right click on our scene in our ground arena for now. Right click UI and then canvas and we'll call this game chat like so. And we need a Let's make a panel to be our background, change the color to a sort of transparent gray. Let's align it to the top left corner, uh, decrease the width to something, I don't know, 300, 200 for the height. We'll call this chat background or chat BG. Add a new UI text, text mesh pro as a child of this. Change the color to white. I don't understand why it's so gray. Let me see. Maybe it's just my monitor. Uh, change the anchor presets to this one, which stretches this to the edges. And let's change these to zero. Actually, let's make it 10, so there's some kind of margin. As you can see here, there's now a 10 pixel margin um, between all these edges. We're gonna decrease the font size to something reasonable and align it to the bottom. So if we preview this, this is how the text would look. Fantastic. Um, cool, now we also need an input field so that people can type stuff in the chat. So under your game chat, right click UI input field like so, and let's anchor it to the top right corner right here by holding shift and pressing here. X position zero, Y position, something like this. Let's increase the uh, width to 300. And I just figured out why it's gray. It's because we're behind this. Um, room manager name screen. So what we can do is render this above this screen. And to do that, go to the game chat UI and we'll change the sort order to one. And now it sorts above um, this UI because its sort order is zero. So whichever has the higher sort order gets sorted on top. Uh, so this one's zero. We'll set this one to zero as well. And the game chat canvas to one. And I think that's it. So let's get to work on the code. On your game chat UI, we're going to add a new script called, you guessed it, game chat. And to be honest, the net code of this is simpler than um, messing around with the UI stuff. But we'll get into that and I'll walk you through everything. So we'll add a public text mesh pro UGI and add using TM pro at the top. And we'll call this chat text, then we'll add a public input field, TMP input field, since this input field is a text mesh pro input field like so, and we'll call this input field. And first what we want to do is to add logic so we can um, toggle and untoggle the input field. So let's add a private bool called is input field toggled like so and in updates we'll do if input dot get key down key code dot y because most games use y as the keyboard um, shortcut for toggling the input field so if we get um, the y key code if is input field toggled then we want to set it to be not toggled. So we'll set is input field toggled equal to false. And otherwise we'll set is input field toggled equal to true. Oh. And in here to select the input field, we'll do input field dot select and input field dot activate input field. And in here to untoggle the input field, um, there was no way I would remember this line. 
but you do unity engine dot event systems dot event system dot current dot set selected game object to be equal to null. So this whole region of code is just toggling um, whether the input field is active or not. But we also need um, some code for sending a message. Now we want to send a message when we press the enter key and the input field is toggled on. So we'll do if input dot get key done key code dot return or is it enter no we'll do both uh so copy this put this in brackets so if it's either so if you press either return or enter and input field is input field toggled then in here we'll handle sending a message oh and one more thing we also want to check um not input field dot text dot is no or empty and add using um web socket sharp so this checks that the text isn't just a space or just nothing. So here we press the return key, the input field is toggled, and you've written something in the text field of the input field. And in this case, we'll send a message. Uh, for now, we'll just do debug.log message sent. And in here, we'll do debug.log toggled off. And we want to copy this into here because we want to detoggle. We want to toggle off the input field. Um, actually, whatever. Cool. Let's save this and give it a go to see um, if it works. Let's just assign our input field and our text, and open up the console and hit play. I just realized if we use Y to toggle the input field, if you type Y, then it'll untoggle the input field, and there's no way to really prevent that. So let's actually use the escape key to untoggle the input key. So input field, sorry. So the if input dot get key down key code dot escape. And we can copy this code here, delete it, and this will be if is not input field toggled. So if you press Y and the input field is not toggled, then we'll toggle it. And if it is toggled and we press escape, then we'll toggle it off. And we could just simplify this code. And in the input field, we can change the placeholder to be um, press y to toggle chat to toggle chat and enter to send. And just so we have the base logic fully working, once we send a message, we want to clear this input field text. So we'll do input field dot text equals nothing and we want to detoggle it so we can copy this right here as well nice and let's give this a test so i pressed y type hello press enter message sense it cleared the input field press y press escaped y escape y escape perfect all right so we got the ui perfectly working and this is the hardest part of the tutorial the rest is pretty simple. Now, how do we send a message for every player 
in the server? Well, it's pretty simple. We use Photon RPCs. Now, what we want to do is essentially just send a string with our message in it and our name. And then we want to call a function for all players on our server that just updates this text right here. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty simple. All right, we'll go, all right, we'll type pun RPC, do public void send chat message. Make sure to not call it send message because I think that's a different Unity function and it might cause you problems. So let's do send chat message and this will take in a string called message and we'll do chat text equals chat text plus slash n plus message. Oh, chat text dot text, sorry. Cool, so what this does is it sets the chat text to be equal to um, the previous chat text, and then this slash n, forward slash n, does like a return, so it creates a new line, and then this just appends our message to the end. And to call RPCs, by the way, on our game chat, where the script is attached, we need to add a photon view. Always remember that. And we want to call this when our player send a sends a message. So just before we clear the input field, we'll do get component photon view to get our photon view component dot RPC. The method name is send chat message. We'll do RPC target dot all. I mean, we could buffer it so that new players who join get the full chat history. Um, that's up to you. R RPC target at all just sends it to everyone that's in the lobby. Um, and for a parameter, we need to pass in our message. Now, in our message, we want to also include um, our player's name. So for clarity, let's just do this here. We'll do string message to send equals to dollar sign and quotation marks. And I'll show you what this does in a second. So normally when you have two quotation marks, you can type whatever you want here, but you can't um, type in parameters and have it become part of that string. So if you put a dollar sign before this, we can add two curly brackets and we can do photon network the local player dot nickname colon and we can do two, two curly brackets and we can do input field dot text so this is a pretty neat way of doing this in one line so we get the nickname add a colon a space and then their message uh, just using the seller sign in these curly brackets and now we can just copy this and pass this in as a parameter into our rpc so that each player executes this function with um, this message to send and updates the UI. Let's remove this default text right here. And this was a pretty, pretty quick tutorial. I'll edit this down, obviously. Test. Oh, we have to connect first. Um, since we have two maps now as well, let's make this into a prefab in our project. And we can add it to our sky arena as well. Save. Fantastic, and let's test this out. I'll call myself Unity. Cool, we are in the same match. This guy's called FSDF. Press Y. Hello. So the messages are sending. Um, I just made a mistake. Uh, 
For some reason, it doesn't seem to be working in Unity. Um, but it will work in your game build if you build it. And the issue... The reason it's saying text mesh pro, whatever, whatever, instead of the actual previous chat history is because I made a mistake. This should be chat text dot text plus message or plus um, line break plus message. And uh, let's build and run this. Create a room, we'll call it. Hello world on ground arena. Our name will be John. This guy's name will be Sam. This is so like damn cool. All right. Hello, Sam. Hello, John. And as you can see, it's synced. All right, that's it, folks. I hope you found this useful. See you in the next one. Bye.